Hi, you guys. Hello, everyone. I know that I'm so excited to be with you guys today for VidCon. Um, I am honored that I'm a part of it today, and um, I can't wait to answer some of your questions. Um, I am a makeup artist. Uh, I'm a TikToker. I'm a content creator, and uh, definitely very big into all of the spooky things going on this season so this is definitely my time um my favorite time of year and uh, i'm an october baby as well so i hope that you guys are having an awesome halloween season um and i can't wait to talk to you guys more about everything going on this uh halloween and for any questions that you guys have i would love to answer as well and um kind of get to know you guys through this platform so yeah i'm happy to be here today I know that there's also an option in the chat bar for all of you guys to ask questions and things like that too. Um, but yeah, I know I want to answer your questions and kind of talk about some of the things that I am doing this Halloween and have been doing this Halloween um, to, I don't know, I there's so many things going on. I live in Los Angeles. Um, there's so many things going on to celebrate Halloween. Um, I did like the Haunted Hayride uh a little bit ago um and then there was also all of the hollywood horror things going on um and for those of you who have never been to hollywood horrors it's like universal um but it's through all of the spooky stuff so that was so much fun um and i definitely recommend it if you're ever in california um but yeah if you guys have anything that you want to ask me um i would totally love to talk to you guys about that um because there's so many things that i've been up to and i know that halloween is right around the corner now on sunday um which is weird that it's on a sunday this year it feels like nobody's doing anything on sunday um but yeah it's, it's definitely been an interesting ride this entire season um for costumes store are my uh are they store-bought or homemade that's a great question um i love that question so a lot of them i've kind of Put together with multiple costumes um there's a couple of them that i have that are kind of a multitude of my own wardrobe that i just genuinely wear <laughs> that become costumes like um for my cruella costume that i did um a little bit ago that was honestly just a bunch of uh various clothing pieces that i already owned um but yeah now a lot of them are actual costumes though a lot of them are from uh dolls kill and a lot of them are from different places but that's the majority um what's the most creative halloween costume you've ever seen oh my gosh that is nearly impossible to articulate um there's so many phenomenal ones although i think that a really good one was um i loved i don't know if it was the most creative but definitely one of the most well done Jessica Rabbit cosplays I've ever seen uh, I think it was I think it was Heidi Klum that did it um I'm not sure but there was a celebrity that did it I think about in 2016 I'm almost certain and that was one of the most elaborate ones I've ever seen um it was amazing uh, but there's so many good content creators that have done so many wonderful looks this year too um Snitchery is one of my favorites too I love her um let's see what items do i need to buy to get started with halloween makeup okay awesome question so i love ben nye makeup if you it depends on what kind of makeup you want to do for sfx makeup which is special effects makeup um i love ben nye they have very affordable makeup um i always use their setting powder which is actually this is their Ben Nye setting powder here that I always use for SFX or my normal makeup because I'm very pale. Um, but if not, um, I really like Morphe for affordable products. Uh, they have a pretty good, really good brushes, actually. Um, and I love the Avani palette for uh, a multitude of colors. It's really great, but it depends what kind of makeup you're trying to do. Um, what got you started with makeup? and loving Halloween. I think that what got me started with uh, makeup and loving Halloween was because I've always done performing arts. So I used to do theater growing up. Um, I have danced my entire life. Um, I painted, I've done all of those things throughout my life. And I think that Halloween was like the one time that I had an excuse kind of to do my makeup as elaborate as possible and not have people have a problem with it you know so i definitely was in a space for a long time in my life where that wasn't really a thing that i could do um around people uh but now i i get to do it every day with you guys and it's 
the coolest thing ever. So I'm so grateful for it. But yeah, that's that's definitely what got me started with it is that it was a great way for me to just like so many would say, uh, express myself. Uh, what's one Halloween costume that you don't think will ever go out of style? I mean, the past couple of years, I keep on seeing as far as repeats that I've seen recently, I feel like the Powerpuff Girls has been really popular. Um, I feel like Disney characters will never go out of style. I think that like uh, iconic characters uh, that are a part of, you know, Marvel or DC or those universes will just never go out of style, you know? Um, so that's definitely my personal opinion, at least. There's, there's definitely others, but those will never. Um, what costumes are you doing this year? I can't say what I'm doing entirely, but I am doing something kind of like that today, which is a huge hint. Um, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say, but you guys will definitely see that today. And I am shooting that today and something crazy tomorrow. Tomorrow's like the main one. Um, and then on Friday, I also have, or not Friday. Forgive me, Sunday. I also have another big one. Um, what's your least favorite Halloween costume? Um, I mean, my least favorite. I feel like something that's really overdone, at least, is maybe, like, animals. I don't know. I feel like it's, like, just been done so many times. If you do it, like, really elaborate, I think that that's super cool. Um, but there's certain ones I'm just, like, I don't know. I, I feel like I... It depends on how hard you go with the costume. Um, but honestly, as long as you're having a good time, I'm not one to judge. I think that as long as you feel good in your costume, it doesn't really matter. Um, but for me personally, I feel like I probably wouldn't do that. Um, can you show us uh, your one go-to makeup kit that you use? So I actually use, it's so beaten up and like wild, but like I was saying, that Avani palette, um, I use that so much that it's literally insane um, and is like falling apart and like looks crazy. Um, I think on the inside, it, it, it's like shattered mirror, like the whole thing. You don't need to see that. Um, but then I also use this a ton. I use the white makeup a lot, but this is like what I use for more like creative makeup. Um, I use this for shadow sometimes, but this is just from Amazon. I think it's like $25. Um, and it's by Athena. It's by Athena. So that one's really good. Love that one. Um, what's your advice for someone getting started on YouTube? So I'm actually getting started on YouTube. So I am working on it as well. But I think that um, having a really strong basis on what you want your content to be and what you want people to feel watching your content is really important. Um, I think that sitting in your identity as a person and as a content creator is you have to find that for before anything else. I, I feel like that's most important above anything else. And also like your graphics, um, reach out to some graphic designers. I think that's always good to make your page look, um, most authentic to you and the best it can look. Um, so yeah, that's what I would recommend if you're getting started on YouTube. Um, and I also really recommend some Canon cameras. I think it's a G7. Um, and that's pretty affordable and a lot of YouTubers use that. Uh, that's one that I have as well. Um, I saw your Pinterest board with spider webs. Are you able to do a quick tutorial maybe on your hand to show us how to get the spider web look perfect? Yes, I could totally do that on my hand or I could even um, do it on like the side of my face here if that works. Um, I love spider web liner. I've done it so much this um, Halloween season. I, it's, I, I probably will do it after Halloween and by probably, I mean definitely. Um, but I usually use uh, a eyeshadow palette um, I use an eyeshadow palette and I use, um, so I'm probably going to use this one here, which is the Avani palette and I have black with this one. Um, I use water and then a small brush. Um, so I'll show you guys kind of how I do that, but I just dip it in here and I, it's, it's a very fine brush. This is from Morphe. Um, I dip it in water and then I get the shadow as like wet as I possibly can get it. And this is actually the nice thing about this palette too, is that it has like liquid eyeliners that you could just get wet that are kind of like eyeshadow consistency. Um, but I have a couple things on my Pinterest board that show that. And if you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, I usually show a lot of the things that I'm doing on there too. But the most important part is to kind of 
go from the edge of your eye right here, at least for the one that I'm doing that's downwards. So what you'll do with that, and I think that you guys can see here, hopefully, um, is I just do a kind of straight line out here. So it's like vertical like that to my eye. So I go like this. And then I just bring that out kind of from the very like outer corner of my eye. And then I just am going to dip that back in there. And then I kind of create like triangle like pieces and you want them to be pretty symmetrical with each other. So like about the same size of the triangle. And then I pull that out as well from the end of my eye. And then I just drag that out sort of at the end and I can drag this one out more. And then I sometimes use my nail even to like help it. But uh, you can totally use all different types of brushes, but that's also why I have such long nails, is it helps me with that. Um, and then uh, you can do as many as you want. I'm probably only going to do like one, probably three lines um, that are outside of that, and they're all connected from the same point um, and like about the same size of triangle. So there you can kind of see I have like the same size triangle for each one. And then you're going to create these little angled webs. So what I do is I kind of like want to make a C shape um, and connect it as thin as possible. But you can make it as thick or thin as you want. Um, we are totally good with whatever here. And then I just make that C shape and connect it in like that. And then I make another C shape and connect it in like that. And then I just do the same thing and try to put them in the same pattern as the other web. So see how those are kind of like going the same way? Like they are both very symmetrical with one another. Again, your spider web can be as messy or as symmetrical as you want. But for me and my style, I feel like I usually want to keep it pretty symmetrical. So I do that. And then I'm going to add another C shape here. I don't want to block your view. I do another C shape there. And like, it's totally cool if you make little mistakes too, you can just go back in. And then I will make another C shape there. And then I'm just adding to the lines. And then there you have it. That's pretty much all you need to do. You can add much more to the spider web as well. But I feel like for me, that's all I'm going to do. And then I usually just drag out the lines a little bit and make them a little bit thicker. But yeah, that's it. That's perfect right there. And that's kind of just how I do it. And I, I've i done it on both eyes before. I've done it like on this area of my eye. Um, you also can do the same thing right here. Anywhere on your eye, your face, you can do it. So um, yeah, that's how I do it. And hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Um, there's lots of tutorials on TikTok as well. Um, and a lot of fabulous content creators that do that. And on Pinterest. So you can check out my board if you'd like. It's titled VidCon, I believe. So, yeah, I'd love to answer more questions if you guys have any as well. Um, or if you want to see me do it on the other eye as well, I can absolutely do that as well. Um, but, yeah, you just let me know what you want, and I'll cater to that. Um, Anne asks, what's one of your biggest dreams and goals that you had even before you started TikTok? Oh, I mean, I love acting. I think that that's always been my biggest first love. Um, that and dance and singing, and I also... I write music, which eventually I'll, I'll probably do something that um, is related to that. But that's like my baby. Um, I honestly think that my biggest goal before it was to, you know, work in Hollywood with acting. Um, I love it because I think it's such a beautiful way to help other people feel emotions um, that maybe they don't know how to feel or express themselves yet. Um, so you can see an actor do that for you. Um, it brings us together, which is cool. Would you ever want to have your own makeup line? Yes, I absolutely would. Um, what would you start with? I feel like my favorite is eyes in terms of makeup. I really love eyes. Um, and I love, I love me some good carved in cheekbones. Um, but I feel like eyes would definitely be the product that I want to do first. I usually have pretty big lashes like I'm wearing right now. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I would love to come out with my own 
liner or eyeshadow or lashes. I feel like that's most distinct, but I also would love to know what you guys would want me to come out with, um, what part of my makeup you'd be most interested in, um, because it's definitely a really big goal of mine to have my own makeup line um, or a collaboration. But I don't want to do it until it's like absolutely the right company and all the right morals and you know it's it's in the right place because i've had opportunities that just it hasn't been the right one you know um do you have any tips for winged eyeliner i need it for my costume tonight and it always looks horrible can you show me oh yeah absolutely um so actually and i i'm going to show you on my hand because i already have winged liner on but this is a trick that um i use and i know a lot of my makeup artist friends use is uh, this is how I do my liner. There's so many ways that you can do it, but I'm assuming you're asking me based off of my style, so I'm going to do it based off of mine. Um, I create a diamond shape on my eyes before I do anything. It's like a stencil. Um, so let me kind of show you on my hand here. I have kind of messy hands. It's a good thing I have nails. Um, I'm going to draw it out on my hand first, and then I'll show you. But we're going to just pretend like this is an eye. There we go. It's almost like a diamond, and it kind of looks like that. Okay, and then obviously fill it in. But that's kind of what it looks like. Let me do it like this way. So you see how that kind of looks like a diamond? There's diamond tutorials. I know that's kind of hard to see on my hand, but like with my eyeliner, what I do is I basically, and you can look up diamond um, liner or go to oni.nana, I think it is. Um, but you can kind of see like without my lashes is that it's a diamond shape. So it's all a diamond shape and I just make it straight. I make it straight right here. And then it's a diamond going downwards. I, hopefully that makes sense um, and is helpful. But that's how I do my liner and um, most thick liner um people that like that. Um, that's how I do it. So hopefully that's helpful. Rachel asks, what's something most people don't know about you that might surprise them? Ooh, I think that something that surprises me or surprises other people about me is I think that most people m might think that I'm pretty like intimidating or, uh, or that I'm really tall or that I don't do really anything else outside of social media, which I definitely do. I mean, I write music, which is sometimes surprising to people. I'm also 5'2", even though I look very tall on my Instagram, I've been told. Um, people think I'm like 5'9", but I am 5'2". Um, and I also professionally ski. Um, I can do double blacks and have skied my entire life. That's a huge one for me. Um, I love anime. Um, I'm a huge Marvel fan. That's not surprising because of Harley Quinn and DC. Uh, and yeah, I feel like those are probably a couple of things that would surprise people a little bit. Um, once upon a time I used to be a visco girl. That's surprising to people. <laughs> That's very opposite from what I am now. Um, but yeah, those are a couple of things that might be surprising. Um, I graduated when I was 16. That's also one. Um, did you feel like lockdown quarantine has given you more time to work on your craft? What have you been doing to pass the time? Absolutely. I think that without the pandemic, I would not be as evolved as I am. I think that it forced me to face a lot of my own demons and get out of um, a very constricted life um, with the people around me. And now I'm here in LA and I am very far from that. But I think that what, and I'm just still have this in my hand, um, but I think that what I did to keep myself so busy was put myself into my work. Um, I dealt with a breakup uh, many months ago now, and that was also something that was really hard. Um, I think that being away from that and putting myself into my own identity and getting comfortable with the things that made me uncomfortable um, has allowed me to be very powerful, I think. Um, I also love anime. I love um, painting. Those are huge things for me as well. Um, but honestly, makeup makeup is definitely the first one. And acting. Definitely acting. Always. It will always be that way. It makes me so joyful. Um, I know you already have makeup on, but can you show us something that looks way harder than it really is? 
like something that is maybe a little bit easy but looks complicated honestly this is pretty that that's definitely that way with um the spider web i feel like something that something that is easy but looks complicated i feel like shapes sometimes can feel complicated and i feel like with practice that definitely gets better um i'm trying to think on what something oh actually this is actually easy but it uh it looks pretty simple in my opinion uh after you do it but i always do this to my lips and you guys always want to see what i do it's kind of it's called a um a widow's smile uh looks more complicated than it is and sometimes it's hard to visualize what you need to do um but this is what i do with my lips that is super easy um i literally just drag so i go from the inner corner of my lips right here and i go from the top lip not the bottom lip that's a common misconception that people make and then it comes out weird um but this is what i do is i just take it from the side here and i go kind of horizontal there and then I bring it in a triangular. It's the same thing as like the motion with liner. Winged liner. And then I just drag that together and it's almost like a slanted triangle. And I know that it, it seems like it's complicated because of the way that it like kind of creates an illusion on your face. But this is something that I do all the time. You guys always ask how I do it. And there you can kind of see that creates like a little bit of a smile line and I can do that on the other side as well but it's super easy so I just always do that all the time to like add a little extra like smile when I'm not smiling it's like a joker's look I actually do this like all the time normally and I do this a lot in my videos that it creates like a an illusion that you have like a bigger bigger lips but more like a bigger smile. So from there, you can see that I did nothing to the bottom lip and nothing to the bottom lip on this one. And it just creates that little like extra smile when I smile out big like that or just normally. Um, but I love doing that all the time. I think that if you do it subtly too and you can always add to it and make it bigger um, and then if you mess up, you can just go over it with liner, um, with, um, concealer, which, cause I just added a little bit too much on that side, I noticed. Um, but I do that all the time because I love Tarte's concealer. I really recommend it. Um, their Shape Tape concealer is phenomenal. And, um, honestly, like people ask all the time about my skin and how it stays really nice. And I exfoliate a ton and use baby wipes. I know it sounds so weird, but it's, they're so sensitive and they don't have chemicals, um, because they're made for babies. Uh, let's hope it out chemicals and it makes my skin so much better. I used to use so many complicated products for my face. Um, but as soon as I just did that, it was so easy, so easy. So yeah. Um, who is your number one person you'd want to collab with and why? I feel like the obvious answer is definitely Margot Robbie because I love her and I met her, um, at the Suicide Squad premiere, which is crazy. That's insane. I am so grateful for that experience. Um, other than her, I feel like um, probably people who are similar to her in her field. I, I just, I love Margot Robbie. I think she's phenomenal. I also would love to work with um, anyone at MAC. I love MAC. Um, love Morphe. I would love to do a collab with, um, we're mutuals with Abby, um, Abby Roberts. She's phenomenal. Benji, I really love. He's so sweet. Um, as far as TikTokers, that would be really cool. Um, yeah, I feel like those are the, the first ones that come to mind, at least. Um, but there's many designers that I'd want to work with as well. Are your lashes extensions or glue on? Oh my gosh, not extensions. If these were extensions, these would be needing maintenance 24 seven. Um, so they are glue on ones and they're from Patrick Star. And these are the really big ones because I'm doing a complicated look later for the thing I was talking about. Um, but yeah, these are the Patrick Star ones and they're the bigger versions of his lashes that he has. Um, but I love his lashes. I either use these smaller ones or these ones, I'd say nine out of 10 times um, because I really like doll eyes, kind of 
larger eyes. And also a trick that I do with my lashes is I actually tilt the end upwards. So it's not on my lash line. It's actually like going up so that they're slanted on my eyes. Um, and that just makes your eyes look bigger. So that's kind of a tip and trick that I use. Um, I love the lips. Can you show us the spider web eye again? Do you want me to do it on the other side here? Cause I can totally show you guys how I do it. Um, I'll just do it on the other side. How about that? Um, yeah, I, I love doing this liner so much. It's so easy after you do it a couple times. Cause of course don't expect it to be perfect the first time. And honestly, my best advice is seriously just trust your gut because if you trust yourself more than anything, it's going to come out better. I think if you second guess yourself, it comes out shakier, you know? Um, okay. So the same thing that I'm going to do with this eye is create a completely straight line that's connected from the exact outer corner of my eye. So it's just going to go straight like that. So I'm going to do that. And then that was kind of thick, but also I just like fix that all the time after it's finished. And I usually go pretty quick with my stroke at first. And then I'm going to do the same triangle from the outer corner here. And I also try to apply minimal pressure when I'm doing it because you can always make it thicker, but you can't make it thinner. So I, I apply very, very, very minimal, minimal, minimal pressure with my brush because I feel like that's a mistake that is commonly made. And then this last one is just going to be in that same motion of triangle. And then I'm going to drag that down with very minimal pressure. And there we go. And I'm going to make these more symmetrical too. So I'm going to drag this one down too. See another more symmetrical. So then I'm going to go back in with more water and eyeshadow. I literally never use actual eyeliner because it dries out. And I liked having full control over my eyeliner. So I just use wet black eyeshadow. Um, it's so much better for me. And then I'm going to do that same motion of the C's. And then another C. I also try to make them go like in the same amount of space as it's like going up the spider web. Then I'm gonna do it symmetrical again on this one. And then again, symmetrical. And just connect those. And then I'm gonna add a bit more shadow and then add that symmetrical again. and go over it again. And then there you go. I'm going to go over these ones again to make them about the same thickness. This one came out slightly thicker, but again, I just go over it again to make them the same. Um, and then I, I'm going to add, I feel like that shows you pretty well. I'm going to add one more row. And then drag this up and add another row. And then there you have it. That's how you do it. It's all just C motions connecting together in a symmetrical format. Um, but hopefully you guys can kind of see there how that looks. Um, and yeah, now they're, they're a little bit different. But again, I always just make them symmetrical when I'm doing it. I like it symmetrical. But again, you can do it however you want. It's makeup. There are no rules, which is the best part about it. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, what's your favorite thing about having blown up on social media? Also, I love you. You're such an artist. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, you make my heart so full. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, oh, my favorite part is I get to meet so many wonderful people. Um, I've done so many cool things with such lovely people, but I can do a million cool things. Um, and if I don't have the right people around me, none of it matters. Um, cause I'm, I'm very much so, uh, in touch with my emotion. And I think that that is a huge part of my life is the people around me. So I've met so many very creative, like-minded people. Um, and that's my favorite. And I also get to meet you guys, which is the best. Uh, anytime I meet you guys and come up to me, it's genuinely one of the happiest feelings in the entire world. I also love going to premieres. That's like, as far as experiences, 
I think that uh, over the past year, I've gone to a couple premieres and it's been amazing. Um, and yeah, but thank you guys so much for coming today. It was such a blast hanging out with you guys. Hopefully you got something out of this spider web uh, tutorial here. And yeah, if you guys want to check out my Pinterest with some of my makeup looks, I have so many that I save on there for inspiration. Um, and it's just Emma Norts on Pinterest as well. Emma Norts on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. It's all Emma Norts and also on Cameo. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to talk to you guys more and, um, feel free to DM me afterwards, say hi, say that you're here. Um, and yeah, I'll see you for some more spooky fun for this October. Stay safe, um, and stay spooky. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.